Okay, here goes some live video. You can see the shrimp and the chicken in it. Looks so good. You see all the vegetables and the eggplant? All right, y'all. So now it is time for the mukbang review with your girl, Laverne Lovely. Isn't she lovely? Okay. I have the cauliflower rice. Well, house cauliflower rice. That has the vegetables in it. It has the guardian chicken in it. Which is meatless chicken. But that tastes so good. I have prawns in it. And then I also have the little ham cubes in it. Sort of like how when you get, you know, like the pork fried rice at the Chinese food place. But like I said, it can't be house fried rice if you ain't got at least three meats in it, right? But all together, let's talk about how many calories it is. Oh, and I need to add one more thing to this. The sesame seed oil. Sesame seed oil was a little high. It was 130 calories, but it's okay. I'm not mad. So, today's dish for dinner. Y'all can see it right there. It was 780 calories, I believe. And like I said, I used a whole bag of cauliflower rice. This is all for me. Um, I did not share it. I did not give anybody none. This is my mukbang. Like I said, I am doing mukbang, which is indulgement of plentiful of food just with lower calories, substitutions, and in a healthier way. So, guilt free. I won't feel bad at the end. Also, I'm going to give you the calories of everything. Um, my deluxe stir fry mix, I used a cup of it. That was a serving size. It's only 35 calories. My pepper stir fry vegetable mix, it was serving size, it was a cup. And it was only 25 calories. The whole bag of the cauliflower rice by Bird's Eye was only 88 calories for that whole bag. That's awesome. Then I had the tiger shrimp. This is the one tiger shrimp prawns, however you want to call them. This is the one thing that had the most calories and that was 270 calories for all those shrimp that I showed y'all then the meatless chicken third of the bag was about seven pieces because about 21 pieces in a bag was only 120 calories um, the ham cubes the little diced ham cubes I had serving size is two ounces and that was 70 calories and the eggplant I had two cups of diced eggplants that I diced up and that was 41 calories. And then the sesame seed oil was 130 calories. Okay. So, like I said, dinner came to a grand total of 780 calories, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It says it's only 24. Make sure I'm reading this right. Twenty two grams of fat. Forty seven grams of carbs. This is my only meal today and only carbs I had and protein is very high. I did 99 grams of protein today. But, like I said, I'm not mad. It's actually within what I'm doing. 
So let's go ahead and eat. Let's talk. Yes, I have my jug of water that I like to keep drinking on. I have my cup, my Sonic cup. It does not have Sonic ice in it, but it has my Igloo ice in it. And my fork and my appetite. So let's eat, let's talk. Mm. OMG. I wish I could show y'all how big the shrimp were before I cut it up. Cause I cut it up because I want to have shrimp in like every bite. But here goes part of one of the prawns. So good. Mm. Little baby corn. I like these corns. Some people don't like them. But I like them. I'm not really a corn eater. There go the hiccups from the heat. I'm not really a corn eater unless it's like super sugary corn that I boil down and it's almost like candy. Sad, huh? But I don't eat a lot of corn anyway. Unless it's in the dish already. Here goes some of the Guardian chicken. Because I know y'all like, what do it look like after you cooked it? Because some people don't believe in the meatless meat they're afraid of it but i promise you it is so good and you can't tell me it doesn't look like regular chopped up chicken strips some grilled chicken strips and it tastes just like it texture and all so i didn't go to the gym today Saturday and Sunday is my rest days. I go Monday through Friday. Because you do have to let your body rest. Here go the one full piece of broccoli I got. The rest of it is like the stems. That stir fry bag did me dirty. I was talking with my earlier about meal prep because somebody wanted to know like with all the meals I make, like I said, check out my Instagram. It is Laverne underscore lovely. You will see plenty of meals that I have on there. No, I didn't put all the ingredients and I did not put all the calories. But I do have the pictures up there. A lot of my meals I like to make fast. This one would have been made extra fast too. But I decided to record all the steps. Because some people do want to see how it's made. Since I'm not just going to a restaurant or a fast food chain to pick this up. Some people want to know how it's made. But my secret is, no, I do not meal prep. I used to meal prep a long time ago. And it was okay, it was cool. It's just, it is boring. And that's one reason I don't believe in just like straight dieting. I believe in eating what you want, but using substitutions to lower the calories, to let you have more of it. And so you can eat guilt free and still get all the nutrients that you're supposed to get without feeling horrible. But meal, meal prepping, excuse me, to me, it does, it gets boring. 
And yes, I know you can make five, six different dishes, but usually those five, six different dishes is your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your snack. So really you're eating the same thing every day unless you swap it around. So what I do to help with meal prepping, well, my meal prepping is making sure I have what I need in the house. I believe in frozen vegetables, even though, yes, fresh vegetables are healthier. It goes fresh vegetables, and then the frozen vegetables, and then canned vegetables just aren't good for you because they take like all nutrition out for you. But frozen vegetables are just as good. So I believe in the little microwave, y'all know the steamer bags for like the broccoli and the, and the um, cauliflower. Brussels sprouts, they got it for, I think, corn. They got it just about for anything. They even have it for rice, the little microwave bag, like by Uncle Ben, which is two servings, so half of that is, you know, good right there. They also now have pasta that comes in the microwave bag. It's not as good as boiling the pasta, because it doesn't cook as big, but it is al dente. But it's quick and easy. So like I said, I believe that that's basically what my meal prep is. I buy a lot of microwave um, steamer bags. So I can microwave steam my veggies, my rice, my pasta, whatever I'm put with it. And then also, now when it comes to my meat, I eat a lot of guardian meat, which is basically already cooked, but you still have to cook it. Warm it up correctly to make sure it's nice and healthy. You can't just go like the chicken strips look so good cold, but you can't just throw it in your mouth and just eat it like it's just regular like Tyson chicken strips. You have to make sure it, it does um, warm up all the way through. So the biggest part that I do when it comes to cooking my food is the meat that's the biggest prep that I do and then sometimes I have to cut up some meats I mean some vegetables but some vegetables don't come in steamer bags so like jalapeno peppers I wouldn't want that in a steamer bag anyway I'd rather just cut it up and then like the eggplant that doesn't come in a steamer bag. If it does, I didn't know anything about it, but I still want to get it because I don't want it mushy. I still have half of a um eggplant left that I froze because I'm hoping that it will last frozen for me. Because after this meal, tomorrow I will be doing like cabbage soup for like a week with like fish one day and like a beef one day type thing I know you're like no not fat diet but basically I use those diets every once in the blue moon to help with a cleanse it's always good to do a cleanse there's nothing wrong with doing cleanses and some cleanses are harsh that's not a harsh cleanse. Like the salt water diet. I'm sorry. Salt water cleanse. That is a hard cleanse. That would make you miserable. But like the cabbage diet. It'll get your insides moving. And make you feel good. You know. That season is so good y'all. It's like the right, right, right amount of spice, right amount of soy sauce. Like I said, I don't like too much salt, too much soy sauce.
And one of my favorite things to eat is Asian food. And I like Chinese. I know it's Americanized, but fried rice is so good to me. I can just eat like a large order of fried rice. So this right here is a great alternative. Because imagine and they pack that the box with fried rice. They pack it to the top. And if you are, what is the word I'm looking for? If you know what I'm talking about, about the Uncle Ben's um, microwave rice. When I say you put it in the microwave, you can cook it, and it's two servings. Half the bag is a serving. One serving is like. 240 250 calories right if you get a large Chinese rice at the um Chinese place right imagine it probably takes about three or four of those Uncle Ben packs of rice to fill up that large box So if we do the math, four packs of rice, two servings per box, 250. If you decide to eat the whole pack, I'm sorry, 250 for only half the pack. If you decide to eat the whole pack, it's 500 calories four times. You're looking at 2,000 calories right there, and that's not even including the meat. I did add to it. I would say the vegetables, but the vegetables are low in calories. I'm really low in calories. And then all the oil they use. They do use a lot of oil. I'm sorry to say Chinese food is not Chinese food if it ain't got oil in it, okay? I don't care where you go. I know back home in DC when we get Chinese food, go over to the Luckies and get that Chinese food and them cheesesteak egg rolls. If the bag don't got no grease on it, and if the box ain't got no grease on it, it ain't Chinese food. So as you see, I had to add my little 130 calories of sesame oil. I wish I didn't have to, but if I didn't, it wouldn't be Chinese food. It would definitely just be a rice medley. Which some of y'all is probably looking at this and like, um, that's what your food look like. It looks like a rice medley. It's not. It tastes just like Chinese food. And my Chinese food craving is satisfied. He was smacking y'all. It's good. Okay. It's good. Shrimp on point. Alright. Sorry, y'all. I ran out of spice. Spice. <laughs> A lot of spice in here. I ran out of space on my memory cards. So I had to fix that so we can finish this mukbang. I had too many things so I had a problem with recording saving stuff on my computer and then not um emptying my memory card. 
Which obviously I need to start doing. But we are almost done. See, I didn't finish without you. Hopefully y'all are sitting back eating y'all favorite dish too. I forgot what I was talking about before it cut off. Like I said, this is another guilt-free meal. Cow fry, house fried rice. It has shrimp. Excuse me. Small grilled pork cubes. Chicken. Meatless chicken. Grilled chicken strips by Guardian. Yum. This is so good. I promise you it is. I want to give y'all a bite. Like, so bad. Like, so bad. Every time I watch a mukbang, I always think it's so annoying. People be like, here, take a bite. And it's like, I can't taste that, but it looks good. <laughs> and guess what? I'm about to be one of those. Let me grab a little chicken. Little eggplant. There's some broccoli on here. Hopefully I don't spill it. Let's see if I can get it to focus because if I drop this, a sister is going to be mad. M A D D. Mm, that was so good. I got saying No my channel is not about book things. It is actually about fitness and traveling. But eating healthy meals in substitution form that is healthy I think goes with my channel. But no, it won't be a mukbang like every day type thing. No, that is not what we're doing. Um, that is not what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do a mukbang once a week or like a recipe showing how to cook it, giving you all the calories, giving you all the specs of the um, specs of it, the different ingredients I'm using, the different brands, so on, so on, so on like that. Um, I will be doing, and I am kind of, hold on, let me just talk for a couple of seconds. This is so good. One piece of shrimp left. Woo. Mm. It is gone. I'm gone. My mom was like, don't you want to use a plate? I was like, no. I said they want to see everything from each edge. <laughs> I said the plate would just block the food. So I said I'd rather just have this set up. 
but let me talk to y'all about what is coming soon on my channel hopefully y'all watch it and y'all see it i'm very nervous about doing it very very nervous about doing it because yes i have lost weight yes i'm 25 pounds down yes i hold my weight a different way so people don't always see or can tell how much i actually weigh but i bought some bathing suits a bunch of them actually and not just any bathing suits i bought like two pieces like i got some high waist i got some bikinis <laughs> so i can show this belly belly it ain't it's smaller than what it used to be, but I still got a belly belly. So, I am actually going to do a video, which will be coming out probably in a couple of days. I might even do it tomorrow. Nope, I won't be. I'm going to be recording it probably tomorrow or in a couple of days. Most likely tomorrow I'm going to record it, but I'm going to record it now at the weight I am now at 196 of me putting on those bathing suits and then I'm going to do another recording or a picture taking um I'm going to try to drop 10 pounds well how we should say it I'm not going to try I'm going to drop 10 pounds and then I'm going to take pictures and put them next to the recording of each one. So if I have a yellow bathing suit on, I'm gonna record myself in a yellow bathing suit. You know, hey, wipe a tear, I'm juicy, turn around, you know, strike a pose. And then when I do the next picture with the bathing suit on, I'll do a picture and put it next to when I was heavier and I was modeling it and then me lighter. So 10 pounds is the goal. And I really feel like 10 pounds will make a totally big difference in my um, swimsuits. It ain't my total goal, but I think it will make a really, really big difference. So look forward to that video. Um, like I said, I'm excited to do it, but I'm also scared. Putting on bathing suits are scary, you know? Especially when it's like bikinis and you don't even wear bikinis. But, you know, follow your heart, embrace yourself, try new things. Who cares what other people say? Who cares? I used to wear long bundles, I used to never show my hair. Things changed in my life. Took the bundles out. I started showing my hair, which was about down here. The next thing you know, colored my hair blonde. Next thing you know, <laughs> I went up to my dad and was like, hey, when you going to the barbershop? And next thing you know, I was cutting off all the sides of my hair, the back of my hair. It was gone. And all I have is just this little part up front. And I am not planning on growing my hair back. I am only planning on growing this out. So you know what? Sometimes we just have to take, take chances. And have confidence in ourselves. And no matter how scary something is. Just follow your heart. That's all I, that's, that's, that's the best advice I can give anybody is follow your heart. When you are on this fitness plan, when you are on a mental plan, when you are trying to find yourself and do what you need to do for yourself to make yourself happy, follow your heart, regardless of what anybody says. So when I put on these bathing suits, deep down inside, I'm going to be nervous, but proud of myself at the same time for doing it because 
I will be 25 pounds lighter when I put them on. And then when I come back the second time, I'll be even 10, I'll be 10 pounds lighter than what I was when I put it on. So look forward to that video. Look forward to some more working out videos and also um, some more measurements will be coming up soon. My measurements and also, um, did I say workout videos? I think I did. And also be looking forward to a travel vlog. I have a travel vlog coming up very soon. Sooner than you think. I will be on a plane and I will be gone and I will be recording and posting all that too. So thank you so much y'all for chilling with me, eating with me, watching me make my dish, the house cauliflower fried rice in a substitution form in a healthier way that was only a 780 calories and that was a lot of food I know y'all saw it was a lot of food and the shocking thing is I am not full I am satisfied but I am not full I am good my nose running cause that jalapeno like I said hopefully the hotter the food I make the more fat it'll make dissolve away from me but once again thanks y'all um if you like the video please hit the like bu button button subscribe so you can be notified every time i put up a new video i'm planning to put up more videos more often and keep them going um i know people like to see when things keep coming and not when there's long spaces so I plan on posting at least two, three times a week. That's my plan, and I'm trying my hardest to stick to it. So, like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can know when I'm posting. No matter if it's food, me trying on stuff. Also, trying on workout gear. That's another thing. I said I couldn't get any new workout gear until I lost 25 pounds. So new workout gear is coming soon and I'll be trying that on. And like I said, my biggest goal shh, is our secret is to be able to walk into a gym with my workout leggings, workout tights, whatever you want to call it, and a sports bra and be like, bam, 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 boom. That's what I want to do. And I know y'all like, you can do that already. No. I'm talking about walk in and feel so confident. Like, I know I'm bad. <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe. Um, leave me a comment. Um, I'll talk back. Give me any ideas of some things you want to see me cook. Um, some substitutions. Even if it's things that you have not seen a substitution for yet, let me know and I will find a way. I will find a way to make a substitution for it to make it a healthier dish. But thank you so much. Thanks for joining your girl Laverne. Lovely. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> thanks for joining me spending time with me and I cannot wait to see y'all on the next video bye